everyone welcome to my channel competitive botany in this video you are going to learn the competitive bits from the chloroplasts so chloroplasts are green colored plastids they are present in all aerial parts of plants here you can see the picture of chloroplast chloroplasts involved in the synthesis of food materials by a process called photosynthesis they exhibit different shapes in different plants but in higher plants they may be oval or discoid or biconvex shaped so in algae they show great variations in their shape so here i have given different different shapes that are present in algae so cup shaped chloroplast present in chlamydomonas and chlorella discoid shaped chloroplast present in wachiria and cara parietal shaped chloroplast seen in pheophyce and rhodophyce girdle shaped chloroplast seen in eulothrix reticulate shaped chloroplast seen in udogonium and hydrodictyon spiral or ribbon shaped chloroplast seen in spirogyra stellate or star shaped chloroplast seen in zygnum generally the size of the chloroplast varies from species to species Let's discuss about the structure of chloroplast. The chloroplast is bounded by two unit membranes. So they are named named as outer chloroplast membrane and inner chloroplast membrane. Here you can see the two unit membranes that are uh, bounded around the chloroplast. Okay. So the outer membrane is freely permeable to small molecules, whereas the inner membrane is Uh, permeable selectively permeable okay so the two membranes are separated by a space called as the periplastidial space you can see the space in between the two unit two unit membranes such as outer chloroplast membrane and inner chloroplast membrane in between there is a space that space is referred as periplastidial space okay so the interior space of chloroplast is filled with a colorless matrix that is known as stroma that is known as stroma stroma is rich in enzymes which is useful for the carbon fixation or kelvin cycle or c3 cycle stroma contain all enzymes which are necessary for the kelvin cycle so the matrix is also composed of circular dna molecule and 70s type of ribosomes in the matrix there are many closed fl flattened sacs such as they are called as thylakoids so here you can see the thylakoids those are called as these are flattened sacs that are called as thylakoids each thylakoid bounded by a single unit membrane and it encloses a cavity called loculus nearly 10 to 100 thylakoids are arranged one above the other in the form of a stack of discs is called as granum so here you can see the structure of granum in granum 10 to 100 thylakoids are arranged one by one one above the other in the form of stack of discs that is called as granum so each chloroplast has nearly 40 to 60 grana in its matrix okay so next the thylakoids of adjacent grana or interconnected by a branching membranous tubules are called as stroma lamellae or stroma thylakoids okay here you can see the structures that are called as stroma lamellae or stroma thylakoids okay so next the thylakoid membrane is a unit membrane okay so the thylakoid membrane consists minute particles that are called as quantosomes each thylakoid membrane consists minute particles that are called as quantosomes each quantosome is made up of 230 nearly 230 chlorophyll molecules and 48 carotenoids so those are the pigments they absorb light for the photosynthesis generally the quantosomes are the real photosynthetic units okay so quantos quantosomes are present on the thylakoid membrane you should remember okay 
so this is the structure of chloroplast okay so let's learn about the competitive baits from the chloroplast let's see the first question chloroplast were first reported by answer is sacks the term chloroplast given by answer is shimper photophosphorylation occurs in answer is plastids which organelles are called energy trans transducers answer is chloroplast and mitochondria circular dna found in prokaryotes plastids and mitochondria which organelle is require intact membrane system for atp synthesis answer is chloroplast and mitochondria chloroplast is described as semi autonomous organelles due to presence of dna chloroplast can self duplicate themselves that's why they are called as semi autonomous organelles light reactions takes place in answer is grana light reactions of photosynthesis are takes place in grana dark phase or carbon assimilation occurs in answer is stroma of chloroplast the proteinaceous matrix of chloroplast is called as stroma next question all enzymes needed for co2 fixation or kelvin cycle present in answer is stroma of the chloroplast chlorophylls and carotenoids present in answer is thylakoid membranes ps1 that means photosystem 1 present on non appressed region of thylakoids ps2 that means photosystem 2 present on appressed region of thylakoids the photosynthetic units are answer is quantosomes next question the quantosomes were discovered by park and biggins if we separate cell organelles of a living cell what part should be alive answer is chloroplast next question chloroplasts are reported in some aerial roots of answer is tineophyllum and tenospora next question green pigments capable of capturing the energy of sunlight are located in answer is chloroplast generally chlorophylls and carotenoids present in thylakoid membranes chlorophyll is the chief component found in all photosynthetic plants so each chlorophyll molecule contain a four firing head and a phytol tail four firing head contains four pyrrole rings so they are connected to central magnesium atom okay so and phytol tail contain nearly 20 carbon chain okay so next chlorophyll a is present in all photosynthetic organisms except photosynthetic bacteria chlorophyll b present in all in all higher plants and chlorophyce chlorophyll c present in pheophyce and bacillariophyce chlorophyll d is present in rhodophyce chlorophyll e present in xanthophyce so next the molecular formula of chlorophyll a is c55 h72 o5 n4 mg molecular formula of chlorophyll b is c55 h70 o6 n4 mg